because uh, I'm not going to do the internet. Oh, let's just start the introduction again. <laughs> okay, uh, hey guys, I'm Plumido. I'm doing a workshop map showcase for Rocket League. Um, workshop maps are basically uh, trading tools in a sense, but they are speed runnable. They have a start and an end. You can run through it as fast as possible, of course. Um, and I'll be doing Super Rush, which is kind of a hybrid dribble, air dribble map, air dribble melee, which is kind of an air dribble hoops map, or shorter. Um, I'll be doing the parkour map too, which uh, this is by Drill. Um, it's not actually parkour, it's an obstacle map. And then I'll be showcasing the first nine levels of the path. And before I get started, uh, my girlfriend Haley would like to say some words about Child's Play. So Child's Play is absolutely amazing. Please, please donate if you can. Um, I was a patient in the hospital as a child who benefited from Child's Play. And as a pediatric nurse, I've seen the love and the joy that it brings the kids who are really sick. So this is a great, great cause and it really helps those kids doing long stints in the hospital. And my name is Bugakology. Uh, my credentials with this game is that I've been playing since launch. Um, I'm actually a surgeon as well, so I do get to see uh, my pediatric patients uh, playing games, and obviously, you know, they're in the hospital for multiple days, so uh, anything to help kind of benefit that is uh, obviously beneficial to, you know, the kids and, and the time they spend there. So, thank you. All right. And with that, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and give a countdown. Um, and we'll just start timer when I start the map, and we'll go from there. So, three. Two, one, go. So starting off on this map, you have to wait till the ball despawns, um, and then you can actually play the map. And then uh, basically the goal is a lot of air dribbling and a lot of actual dribbling. So there was an air dribbling, and now we're going to do regular dribbling. But as you can see, it's kind of on a half pipe. Uh, but usually I just... Uh, try and read it but normally I try and dribble that one I'll do a pinch on this one just so I can get the ball a little further makes this touch a little easier so I can reach the ball right there and every time it says orange scored I'm gonna hit the reset button because that gets me to the next level a lot faster uh, so for, for those of you who don't know Rocket League is a uh, soccer game with cars and you got a boost um, drive around, hit the ball into the goal. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, but the thing is, this game can actually get really uh, complex when it comes to uh, technical aspects. Uh, we in the community always say about how the skill ceiling is infinite. Uh, they're constantly yes. coming up with new tricks and new techniques. Um, so there are so many things uh, Pomato is doing here uh, that's <laughs> kind of subtle if you, if you don't know what's going on. Um, you initially start playing the game and it's like, how, to, how do you hit the ball just driving around? Um, but they're actually multiple ways to air roll. Uh, there's uh, a binding that you can either air roll directionally, left or right, or you can just bind a button that you hold and it lets you to air roll while using the control stick. Uh, the advantage of the air roll is it kind of free air roll whichever direction you want to go and it also helps you land very softly. And when you contact yep. the ball with air roll, uh, it actually affects your car less, so you can stick with the ball a lot more with that. But the disadvantage is you can only rotate in two axes at the same time with that air roll. So you, you can bind uh, directional air roll, such as air roll right or air roll left, uh, which Plumato is using primarily here, um, which allows you to rotate in three degrees of axis at the same time. And what he's trying to do is stay continually with the ball, stay under the ball, and keep that soft contact so he can then direct the ball through the air to where he wants it to go. I've actually hit that ball over the net before. Another thing is uh, Rocket League keeps a counter. Uh, once you jump, and you can actually hold jump to, to uh, get yourself higher up in the air, but when you release the jump button, you have 1.5 seconds to jump again. You have a second jump, and you can use that to flick towards the ball and give it more power. However, uh, you can also trick the game into leaving the ground with your wheel still contacting something, and you can save that flip for as long as you want to. That's a classic um, Rocket League moment right there. You missed. And then the <laughs> pros, really good players of this game, have learned if you contact the ball or another surface like the ceiling with all four tires at the same time, you reset your flip. Um, so even once you're in the air, you can reset your flip and give yourself back the flip to 
do what you want to. You flick at the ball or uh, manipulate it to hit it again. You can reset your flip as many times as you want. Um, so some very subtle techniques you can do to uh, beat your opponents. Oh, so that concludes Super Rush there. Um, now we're on to the next map already. And this one's going to be air dribble melee. It looks like more of a air dribble hoops, but all of it is basically uh, oops. You're not doing too hot. <laughs> Most of it is just, or the entire map is literally just air dribbling into the hoops. Also, let me Which know. apparently you're not good at. <laughs> oh, no. Savage. This is the hardest level out of the whole map, honestly. We can tell. Just choking, that's all. The car itself, uh, the reason they had the donation incentive is because the car choice actually changes your hitbox. Uh, you can't see it here, but if you bring up a box around the car, each car has its own kind of hitbox. There's like six different hitboxes. Um, and this is the one he is fortunately most familiar with. Uh, and it's pretty dramatic. You've been playing for a couple thousand hours in this game. You change your car, it makes a huge difference because you're so used to hitting the ball uh, with your car in a certain spot. The corners of the hitbox are the strongest, so you actually try to flip into the ball with your corners to get power shots. Um, the top of the car and uh, the front of the car are more powerful, and then the softest parts are the, uh, the wheels are the softest. Um, so you can actually manipulate the ball as well. If you want it to go further, you make it more contact with the, the front of your car. If you want to kind of get a harder hit and keep it close to you, you hit it on the, on the roof, or you can put it underneath your oh. car and hit it with the wheels to kind of soften the Too ball. Good. So he is using all these techniques uh, here all at the same time. He is saving his flip. He's using air roll for soft touches. He's hitting it with certain parts of his car. He's staying underneath the car, uh, underneath the ball to get contact, uh, just to keep it up in the air and keep his car close to it. Um, oh, no. This is thousands of hours of experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what peak performance looks yeah, like, guys. <laughs> I compliment <laughs> you. This looks like a struggle bus. Goes, I will say, by the way, the original Air Dribble Melee map, so I'm playing the single player version right now. This gives me just one ball and allows me to stay in one position the whole time. Uh, the original map is actually a lot faster, but uh, for a marathon, this is the safer route because then I don't have to reset my car four times. Oops. Just every time you mess up. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so it's pretty neat as a community. Uh, they uh, can go into these workshop uh, maps and create their own. So these are different content creators, uh, different players, professionals uh, make these. And it expands the world of Rocket League from outside the typical arena that you play in every time to just create these you know, hoops off in the distance and these big ramps. So you start to learn to do all these extra techniques uh, that then translate into your game you know, as you play two on two, three on three. Almost. Put a little flash on it. <sighs> hey, come on, man. <laughs> That's a big side for it. And again, back to the basics. If you can see uh, the boost trail that's coming out the back of his car. Uh, that Pomato's. concludes their dribble melee. Excellent. And now we have just no ball, just straight aerial. And that is going to be right here. All right. So beyond the 10,000 things we talked about, about where to contact your car, how to contact the ball, hitting it with air roll, what type of air roll, what kind of degrees of freedom you have, you're also using your boost uh, to manipulate yourself as you fly through the air. Uh, you see what he's doing here is releasing that boost, and it's, it's called feathering your boost. And it's just maintaining your height and your speed at just the right spot so you can manipulate and get around all these different obstacles. This is my emotional support flip I just got by landing on the wall. It's going to allow me to uh, emotionally be able to flip if I mess up. Right. <laughs> Which so flipping can change my momentum if I need it to. And in this case, I'm going to use it to go down faster. Yep. You can use that flip any way you want. Um, and that's the power of the flip reset. We're just going to kind of hang on the wall right here. Oh, no. Oh. You're just going <laughs> to die on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Good True. job. What a save. What a save. Yeah, what a save. All right, now the hardest part, of, now the actual hardest part of this is not dying going through there. And now um, stay alive. And basically, uh, this part's a side scroll. If you have a donation, go ahead and read it. All right. Dirty Dog donates $50 saying, it's pronounced Plumato? I thought it was Plumato. <laughs> Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing you rip <laughs> through these maps. Do we have time for another one? Yeah. All right. 
Bad News Nate donates $100 saying, my wallet officially cries, but for good reason. Thank you again to everyone for a memorable time here at MAGFAST 2023. Already looking forward to 2024. Yeah, Thanks Omar. for the donations. If we have it. Mm -mm. All right. No deaths on the side scroller. We like that. Right here, we just kind of stay to the top. We'll go through it. And right here, there's a kind of a path you can take. It's Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> it's a. It's hard to beat bad. that cycle. That was kind of the path. Yeah. <laughs> That's all me. So we'll just take it a little bit slower. There we go. Keep it nice and safe. Oops. I must have hit the pillar. And now we kind of fly through the pillar forest. Oh, ooh, cutting a little close. You know, gotta keep us on the edge of our seats. Come yeah. on, just gotta keep you on the edge. Here. That's right. <laughs> so this map ends when you touch the ball. Oh. Or when you miss. I can't believe your I touched the ring. wall right there. <laughs> Good job. Good job. That's okay. I just wanted to fly through the pillars again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these workshop maps, you go on the Steam Workshop, um, which despite this being multiple consoles, uh, Steam's the only one that has the workshop maps. Um, but there are some of the content creators, uh, they create more than just the technical um, workshop maps like this. Uh, I know Oops. there's a beer pong workshop map. Uh, I think there's an escape room workshop map uh, yeah. that became really popular for a while with some of the pros. Um, it's just, it's neat uh, seeing the community come together and make a whole bunch of different different ideas for games been out for a while. All right, my defense though, uh, my full monitor is uh, 240 hertz. I'm playing 120 hertz. We'll blame it on that. Or your lack of skill. <laughs> All right. That's that map, and then the last map I'm going to do is at the very bottom of my list here, because that's just where Rocket League put it, and is the path. And this is uh, one of the more recent maps that was released. I'm just doing the first nine levels of it. Uh, this is going to showcase. It has a cool little start menu, press power slide for boost, and if you want to, you can talk to the people here, but <laughs> you want to talk to that. Nice. So you hit that across, hit the reset so I can get to the level faster. Do the same thing here. Same thing here. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and just cut across the forest. Oops. Or die. Do. Yeah, or uh, not. <laughs> and we're just going to shoot the ball over here, get that checkpoint reached. Called boost. We can just go right across the bridge here. Same thing, just kind of shoot the ball, get that checkpoint reached. Now we're just gonna take a stroll up the uh, mountain here. And this map is pretty much just a dribble challenge. Uh, there's, I mean, there's a couple air dribble spots, but mainly it keeps you on the ground most of the time. And right here, kind of doing the same thing, shooting it. I'm going to try and see if I can get a good cut through the hill here. Never mind, it's looking like uh, the ball's not cooperating. So we'll just take it back down. We'll go back to the road. Stay on the path, rather. Oh. <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. Now <laughs> oh, that was RNG manipulation. Yeah. For that. True. All right, we'll just stay on the path. They know you're cheating. <laughs> don't tell the don't tell the creator I'm cheating. Oh no. So funny enough with dribbling too, the ball's too far forward on your car, and especially with if, if you could, couldn't already tell, like everything's kind of angled. So like my car is kind of tilted to the left right here, and as I come to the next curve, my car tilts back to the right. So I got to kind of hold the ball in a spot where it's pretty much centered on my car, even though it doesn't look like it on the bottom ring at the bottom. Uh, bottom ring at the bottom. Um, it's still centered. 
And then here, um, final part of this level. I'm just gonna go ahead and go across. Oh, I hit the ball too hard. <laughs> you died. Yeah, that too. And right here, and that's the end of this map for the showcase. That's it. <laughs> All right. That, that'll, uh, that'll conclude this showcase um, for Rocket League. If you're definitely interested in speedrunning Rocket League, um, you can go to type in speedrun.com slash RL. That'll be like the page with the series page or whatever. It'll uh, list every workshop map. It'll include the base game. Plenty of categories. If you're on console, we got stuff you can run to. Um, have the speedrun t-shirt on, actually, or jersey. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty much it. Hope to see you on the pitch. Yeah. Oh, what was my time for the showcase? 13.31? Okay, that's great. Seven nice. minutes under, we did it. All <laughs> right.